One, two, three. Subscribe, everybody. Subscribe. Subscribe. How's everybody doing? Today, going to mobilize some equipment to a new project. Going to start. Got the dozer on from the last site. Just got to load her up. Three hook. To the right, and always like this at 45, and then push it down so she gets in. Make sure your chains are crossed like so. That way, if something fails, God forbid, the chains hold it up. It creates a cradle like this. I'm gonna hold this whole tongue up. The blue, uh, red. Yeah, let me get you over. Red. Hold like this. Like so, that one goes down, that one goes up. Put them on, that's it. Rebind, uh, retighten the chains. On the machine to make sure everything's good. Put the tongue up, and we're good to travel. Make sure there's no dirt on the trailer. Making sure all the lights work, all good. During the pre-trip, I noticed this tire is soft. It's happened a couple other times. I checked it for a nail or anything, can't find it. I don't know if the, the rim's leaking or whatnot, but I'm gonna throw some air in that. She's at 40. Bring her to 100. 100. Just wanted to check the valve stem and it was loose. I gotta say, it turned a half a turn on that, so maybe that was a loose valve stem. I'm gonna use a little valve stem wrench. Deep hill going up. guys what we got going on here obviously see this hill he's got a ton of uh, trees he took down we're not taking down these stumps just a couple here 
and all this these stumps blah 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 huge hill here has to get pushed off he's gonna put a swimming pool in here which i will dig next year uh but he's prepping the site for that so can't have the uh swimming pool filled with water so we're gonna put a 300 foot curtain drain all the way through here two foot deep two foot wide fill it with a pipe and a stone but this hill has to obviously come down in this area we'll take all this after we get the overburdened stumps off take this good dirt fill it in here and flatten this whole area so it could settle over the winter and be good for a swimming pool so that's the next project i'm gonna go grab the 88 right now all right round two fuel up the 88 clean the tracks off get her loaded got her filling automatic shut off just like got the gas pump got the swivel it's nice 20 gallons per minute with that bad boy Got the boom all bound down and all four points on the machine. All right, all unbinded. Let's get her going. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to climb up that. That was real slippery and wet, leaves and mucky. We'll give it one whirl. If not, we'll just go up the driveway.
This is a nice little nature trail out the backwoods here. So over here is where we're going to dump some stumps. You can get an idea. The machines are still up there. You can see. I'm going to just hide them off this little berm here. We'll have quite a few. Um, but yeah, definitely not going to run no stone up this way or nothing. We'll have to back the truck up and dump stone up at the top. Uh, it takes, you know, two, three truckloads to fill that trench. Uh, this is greasy. I almost fell the last time walking down. I slipped pretty good. So we'll start this Monday. Hopefully, uh, if they said Sunday, maybe rain. I don't know. But you can see where she started to slide right here. And uh, I just slowed the tracks down. It's quite lucky. Alright guys, back in the yard next morning. Uh, yesterday got the Kenworth on the road. Been so busy, haven't had time to do it. And got the stuff I wanted to get done on it. So uh, yeah, that's on the road. That's good. Going to mobilize the skid steer over to that site. Uh, <clears throat> maybe later today or tomorrow. It's Saturday now. Um, so I went down and... Just brought this down this morning to, to the guy that paints dumb trucks and stuff to get a quote on the box. And I got that scheduled. He's going to sandblast everything. Completely bare metal, the whole truck and the frame. And uh, get it done for me. I'm going to do that next week. I'll drop it off. But on the way down there, I noticed that the voltage meter on or gauge on the truck was reading below 10. So I went into Fleet Pride and changed these out in the parking lot. Got three new batteries. I also did a test on the alternator, and the alternator was not charging. So, yeah, unexpected costs again. So here we are. We got that uh, just a little over five. Um, they gave me a break, though. It was probably $600 and stuff. But because I got an account, and I do quite a bit with them, they hooked me up. So that's what I'm going to do right now is change this alternator and uh, yeah, let's get her done. All right, first things first, disconnect your battery, your negative terminal. Um, it's going to be a half inch here, 10 mil here. Let's get these off. This is the ground. Positive. Just in case it does have an arc or whatever, I don't know. I just protect that anyways. Alright, let's out of the way. This is a 5 8. He's on there. Come on.
loosen the tension on this belt. I see the tensioner pulley right there. Right there, watch when I pull the belt. See it moving? And usually you could put a, a wrench on that and just turn the wrench to loosen it, but it's not doing it for some reason. And I really didn't look to find another way to do it, so doing it the hard way. I'm gonna pull it manually and get that belt off. Once that belt's off, this should just slip right out, like so. All right, she's out. She's out in my hands. Now I just gotta swap the pulleys. There she goes. Nice and nice. Call that dead. Let's get her on. Nice new shiny parts. Gotta love it. Alright, so short bolt, short bolt, short bolt, long bolt. Long bolt in the bottom. Make sure you put your brackets back on. Always get them started with a wrench first before you go hitting with the impact. Don't want to be stripping things out. Cross got her mounted uh we're just gonna hook up the power so my son come down showing off his new bike he got for his ninth birthday say hi max hi he loves the old blue chrome oh yeah all right so uh positive here you gonna help me max yes all right oh come on don't tell me the positive it's not gonna reach all right we're gonna have to cut some some tie straps try to make that reach here's the ground let's get the ground down careful over there okay. I'm put that over there put my gun all right i gotta get a snips let's cut these straps right here come on get up there man it just makes it i'm gonna have to make some more room down there somewhere and this one will go here. Man, why would it be so different? But it is. Let's grab this. All right, we're just gonna snug everything up, put the nuts on, fire it up. Gotta put the belt, the pulley on. I see a notch right here that I could put a pry bar in them. We'll do that in a minute. All right, guys, I couldn't get the pry bar in there, and I don't have patience for that stuff, so we're doing it manual pull. I got it halfway up, but got to pull this bottom. There we go. There we go. Brute strength. You see when I pull that, that pulley pulling? Usually you put a wrench on that bolt, but that's not doing it. So I tried putting a pry bar in there. And it still wouldn't do it. So, regardless, we're all hooked up. Good to go there. Let's hook up the battery real quick. My three brand new skis. Just hook that up. Hook that up. And we should be good to fire up and see what the gauge reads. The gauge was reading 10 before, but it should be at 13 and a half, 14. Right, Max? Yes. That's right. All right, let's see what we got. Here's the gauge right here. It's gonna 
take a minute to hit. Oh, she don't even take a minute. There she is, up to 13.8. Perfecto. Well, now we got brand new batteries in the Sterling and brand new batteries in alternator in the Kenworth. And the alternator was in the Sterling too. And I had a video of that, of a breakdown. I broke down uh, and fixed that one day we were working. So if you didn't see that, go back and check that video out. I'll try to put a link in the description. Not the best at that stuff. Still trying to figure out this YouTube stuff. Uh, all the links and the, the ID cards. I don't know how to do that. I need someone to train me. Um, but yeah, look at that bad boy. Nice new shiny parts. Here you're running. Thumbs up, Max. Come on. Tell everybody to subscribe. Subscribe. That's right. We need subscribers, everybody. Come on. Let's get her done. Have a good weekend. We'll catch you Monday on that uh, job that we're starting the uh, perimeter drain, French drain, curtain drain, whatever you want to call it. See you then.